Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to do my top five lipstick, uh, pink lipsticks. Um, this is in a to sort of like response to um, Chucky Kaz. She did her top five pink ones, and I thought I'd do you know a response as well. So we'll start off with the one that I'm wearing, and it is by Too Faced. No, you can see that. Yeah, I think you are. Um, and the colour is I Want Candy. And you can see it on my lips, but I will do a swatch on my hand for you. It's quite a glossy lipstick. It feels quite slippery, but it doesn't feel sticky. Um, wearing power. Um, it doesn't last as long as some lipsticks I have and a couple of lipsticks in this collection that I've got here. Um, so you do have to reapply quite frequently. Um, I mean if you eat or drink it's, it's gone. I mean after eating it it's totally gone so it's not a long lasting lipstick but it is a nice one. The next one is one sort of along the similar lines in texture and it is Kate Moss one from Rimmel and it's 05. It looks like that. It's a, it is a little bit little bit more matte. It's not quite as shiny as, as this one but it, it still is um you know a shinier lipstick. Um does stay on your lips quite a lot longer than this one and it does leave um, a little bit of a stain behind. Uh, this one's from Locatan, I think that's how you say it, and it is uh, 03 Fuchsia. I like this packaging because this, this is all cardboard and so is the bottom of this. This is plastic. And the lipsticks like that. And actually, these so far are all sort of um, along the similar lines in shade colour. Um, this one is a, a shinier finish, but it's not quite as shiny as these two. Um, it is a more sheer lipstick when you've got it on your lips. Um, you haven't got as much coverage on your lips um, so that one doesn't last so long either. The next one is a Wet n Wild lipstick and it is 901B and I think it has a name it's called, th I think it's called, hang on, I'll show you in a minute Think Pink, I don't know if you're going to say that Think Pink. Now this is um, quite a matte Start up there. It is a, well. It is a very matte lipstick actually. So this one does stay um, a really long time on your lips. Um, it does leave a nice stain behind. Um, so when you've eaten, you do have some colour still left on your lips. The next one is one from Mac, and it is called Pink Played, and this is a matte lipstick too. This one has um, quite a long staying power on your lips as well, being matte. You do get that. Those colours are fairly quite similar. You can see that top there. That's that one, that's a pink plaid. And as you can see, these two are matte, you know, next to, to these. So. I have um, quite dry lips. Um, so whenever I use, um, well I'm going to put lipstick, well any time, especially if I'm going to wear lipstick, um, I've been using this, um, it's from Jack Black, Intense Therapy Lip Balm, as a SPF of 25. Um, this is really, really good. Um, only thing is, it comes from the US. Um, you can get it on eBay, um, 
but it does cost a little bit extra. Um, I think my friend sent me this one quite ooh, ages and ages ago. Um, the other thing that I find is really good for dry lips is Elizabeth Arden's 8 hour cream. That's something else I use alongside this. But when I'm going to use a matte lipstick, um, when I've done my moisturiser, I will put the, the lip balm on my lips, do all my face makeup, do my eyes, and then by the time I've done that, this this is sank, sank in, and then I can put my lipstick on. And I find that um, any lipstick looks better um, if you haven't got dry bits, um, especially mattes. Um, you have to really take care of your lips if you want to wear matte lipsticks. So I hope you've enjoyed um, my choice in lipsticks for the pink, the pink shades, um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.